billed as the autumn statement to get Britain growing. It's really about getting the Conservatives going. Today, a very retail offer for two million workers, the biggest ever increase to the living wage. This is a pay rise for up to three million workers uh, and is part of our commitment to make sure that we make work pay. You talked this morning about tax cuts for businesses, tax cuts for individuals. Has it got anything to do with the fact that the Conservatives are now 20 points behind in the polls and you are running out of time? Well, I think in the last year, the Prime Minister and Chancellor have made some really difficult decisions in the national interest. We've met the Prime Minister's commitment to halve inflation. That's going to make a massive difference to people at home now. And now we're really focused on growth and making sure that we bring the tax burden down. And many Conservatives believe they need to, and quickly, tax levels now at their highest in 70 years. The Prime Minister is now talking about this being a time to cut taxes. You must be delighted, aren't you? It's what you've been calling for. I'm pleased, quite frankly, Beth. You know, if we can start signalling the route, the pathway, that great Conservative journey of moving towards lower taxes, that is to be welcome. So do you want tomorrow to be the moment where the Prime Minister goes for it and he really kick-starts this general election campaign? Well, I'm open for that, totally, on the basis that, you know, a year out from an election, we have to be out there speaking about who we are, what we stand for. You say we as Conservatives believe in low taxes. Does the Prime Minister believe in low taxes? You're, Beth, you ask him that question. The answer is yes, the government now changing its tune. For months, we've been told the time isn't right for tax cuts. Well, tomorrow, the Chancellor will say the opposite. Now, apparently, it is, with tax cuts expected for individual workers and businesses too. Now, Treasury insiders will tell you this is all about an improving economic outlook. But make no mistake, there's plenty of politics in this too. The Conservatives are 20 points behind Labour in the polls, and the Prime Minister is running out of time with you, the voters, and is resting party as well. But in marginal Conservative Corby, would tax cuts convince voters to stick with Sunak? Whether I would vote Conservative, I don't think that alone would sway me, to be fair. They cut one thing, but, but they'll, they'll take it out of another. That money has to be paid elsewhere, you know, so is that money going to be paid with the rising cost of fuel? Is it going to be paid with the rising cost of petrol? Tax cuts expected next spring now coming early. But are the offerings too little, too late? Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.